Hi, my name is Corey Andalore, and I'm presenting my Mint Tin game, Pocket Apiary. In Pocket Apiary, you are bee farmers trying to plant a beautiful, diverse garden of flowers while also harvesting the nectar the bees bring back to their apiary so that you can create the purest of honey. You score points for doing both of those things, and the player with the highest score wins. So this is the setup for a two-player game. Each player will take three flower cards that are start cards for the game with matching symbols and lay them out numbered one, two, three. Every player will start with a dandelion, lavender, and mint flower, but they will not start in the same order. Initialize your cards with a nectar cube of the matching color. So here I have player one and player two sitting across from me. Next, set up the field. The field is the remainder of the flower cards shuffled into a pile and then deal out a number of cards equal to the number of players plus two. So I've dealt out four cards. Place the honey cards off to the side where you can easily get, reach them. There's going to be three of each kind, dandelion, mint, and lavender. Place the bees tokens into the apiary and leave next to the apiary the remaining nectar cubes. On your turn, you're going to move a bee. Now, how you move a bee depends on where its starting position is. If you have a bee in, already in your garden, you can either move that bee to the field, to the apiary, or to another flower in your garden. If you don't have a bee in your garden, you can move one from the apiary to your garden, or if there was one in the field, you could also move it to your garden. Whether or not there is a bee in your garden, you may always take all the bees that may be in the field and move them to the apiary. Moving a bee from the apiary to your garden. So take the bee, move it to your garden. If it has a cube, you take the cube, then perform the column action. In this case, this flower says to gain a dandelion cube from the supply. When moving your bee from your garden to the field, you may purchase one of the flowers in the field. The purchase cost is listed above the nectar placement location. It's always going to cost two cubes of the same color. So in this case, for this mint flower, it costs two mint cubes. For this lavender flower, two purple, and so on. Uh, I'll go ahead and trade in my two dandelion cubes, they go to the supply to grab a, this dandelion flower and then plant it in my garden. Whenever planting a new flower into your garden, it goes row by row, column by column, left to right. So the max is already three columns, so the very first flower I plant is going to go in the first column. When you add it to a column, you cover up the previous text on the flower above it. That makes the new column action the flower I just planted. Whether a bee lands on either flower, it's the same action. And then you add a column or cube to it to start it off. When moving a bee out of the field, whether it is to go to the apiary or your garden, place the bee where you want it to go. So in this case, I will bring it to my garden, then immediately fill, refill the field up to its max number of cards, in this case four. Then, just as I did before, take the cube if there is one, perform the column action. In this case, gain a lavender cube. When moving within your garden, you must move to a new column, but you don't have to move to the flower closest to you. I could land on this empty flower or I could land on the flower below it. However, if I was to land on this flower below in this case, you, I would still take the cube and I have an action here that has me gaining a cube, but your limit is three. So I have the max number of allowed cubes. 
So I cannot gain any more through this action. When you start your turn with three cubes, you must leave your garden. So if, in this case, if I started my turn and I have three cubes, two lavender and one dandelion, I could either go to the field to purchase the lavender plant, or I could go to the apiary. When going to the apiary, you always drop off all cubes that you had. If when going to the apiary, after you go there, there happens to be four cubes of a matching color. You can trade those four cubes in for a matching honey card, and you keep that. The cubes go to the supply. So after you've moved to B, the next player in turn order goes. And you're going to continue going back and forth, moving bees, collecting cubes, planting flowers, until the game end is triggered. The game end is triggered when one of the players has built a 12th flower. So that means in three columns you'll have four rows. Or if all of the honey cards have been collected. That triggers the game end, every player gets one last turn, and then you score. To score at the end of the game, you're going to total up your honey points with your garden points. Honey is worth more the more you've collected of the same type. If you have one of a kind, it's two points. If you have two, it's six points. And if you happen to get all three, it's worth a whopping 12 points. You score your garden by gaining two points for every alternating color. That means if you have two yellow in a row, like as I do here, it's not worth any points, but if you go from yellow to some other color, for example, it's worth two points. You then deduct one point for every nectar cube still in your garden. So here I have two points for mint honey, six points for lavender honey, or a total of eight points from honey. And I have two, four, six, the green is the same, eight, ten points for my garden, minus three, seven points, plus the eight, for a total score of 15.